Senator De La Cielo Portilla, you are recognized in debate. Thank you, Mr. President and, and members. Uh, I'd like to commend Senator Flores and Senator Garcia, my two younger colleagues, for their very effective presentation of what is the reality in Cuba today and what reality tells us will happen tomorrow and the day after as long as the Castro dons, the two mafia dons that rule Cuba, remain in power. Uh, these octogenarian despots have been in power, power that they stole in 1959 for 56 years now. They are the illegitimate rulers of an island nation. They stole power, they stole property. Today, the French and Italian and Spanish hotels that you see are built on stolen property. In my personal case, I was born at Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami, but my parents came over when they were 21, and they had their youth stolen by the two octogenarian dictators 90 miles away from Florida's coast. We've had relatives who have been imprisoned. My granduncle, my grandmother's only brother, Manuel Garcia y Sanchez, was killed simply because he asked for free elections. So since 1959, you have these two stubborn dictators who stole power, who have not changed a thing since 1959. In fact, the country has gone backward by every single indicator of progress that we have in the world. Production of tobacco, production of sugar, human rights, everything has gone in the wrong direction. And to think naively that by sending American cash so that Americans can buy Cuban cigars and Cuban rum and vacation in those hotels that are on stolen property, that somehow if a McDonald's or a Starbucks opens over there, that these two obstinate octogenarian dictators and their cronies, same people that have been with them since the very beginning, since 1959, are gonna change anything, is naive at best. And perhaps there are some, like our president, who may have acted with good intentions, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Because the influx of cash that they're gonna that the Castro brothers and their oppressive regime are gonna get from Americans will only ensure that the Castro brothers and their capos maintain control of the island of Cuba, which they treat as their own farm. They decide who can go to school and what you can study, where you can work, what you can do, where you can go. And they're going to continue to do the same. The very same day that our president announced what he called a new day and a new policy, Raul Castro, now 85, said, let me make it clear. We're not going to change anything. We're not going to betray our principles. And what are the Castro's brothers' principles? Oppression, dictatorship lack of human rights, murder, stealing property, shipping weapons to North Korea, participating in state terrorism, subverting American interests all over our hemisphere and beyond, as far as the African continent and everywhere else that they could. This policy will do nothing but ensure that the Castro regime, this new policy, will ensure that the Castro regime stays in power for a little longer. And as a result, the Cuban people will continue to suffer. And so what we ask for you to, from you today is just solidarity. We know our cause because we've lived it either directly or indirectly through our parents, our brothers, our sisters, our uncles, our aunts, our grandparents. And we ask for you to stand in solidarity, stand with us, Stand for freedom, stand against oppression, and stand for what we all share as American values, human rights. Please support us in this resolution. It's important to us because nothing has changed on that island for 56 years, and it's not going to change just because some Americans can now buy cigars and rum. Thank you.